We're on the campus of Washington State University in Vancouver. It sits on 351 acres. You wouldn't know it, but if you could come off I-5 and check it out, it is one of the most beautiful campuses you'll see. So glad you're with us on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. You know, Washington State University is the only four-year research university in Washington. And uh, a man who likes to do research is uh, Stephen Solovitz. He's here. He's a professor in the mechanical engineering department. And Stephen, I I'm looking at your resume here. Mm -hmm. Princeton University, Stanford University, Washington University. What attracts you, I mean, with your resume and your background to a campus such as this? There's a, a lot of things that attracted me to this place. One of which is uh, uh, it is a new campus we are starting something very different. It's really only 20 years old. The engineering computer science uh, program is only a few years old. This building, a couple years, we just moved into a brand new building with brand new facilities. So it's a chance to do something unique and to do something where we can build a new program. And uh, I, I feel really honored to get the chance to and, do that. And you have the facilities here in mm -hmm. which to do it, the, the equipment. We've been very fortunate. It's been a very difficult economic situation the last few years, but we've been able to continue to grow and continue to build. We have uh, three different wind tunnels. We have a laser diagnostic uh, flow measurement system. We have many different uh, smaller scale uh, fabrication facilities mm -hmm. for making brand new chips. There's a new clean room that's going in so we can make state-of-the-art electronics for our new electrical engineering program and mechanical engineering program. Speaking of electronics, so a way to cool the electronics is something that you're researching right now. Exactly. So I do work in uh, fluid mechanics and in heat transfer and one of the things that I work on is trying to come up with really creative ways to make things avoid burning up. Electronics are getting to the point where the uh, power that is dissipated on a chip is towards the levels of what you would see in certain spots in nuclear reactors or towards that, the level mm -hmm. of the surface of the sun. So what so, is this made of? So what this is, uh, we've designed a heat sink which has a channel with a lot of little tiny dimples inside of it. It's based on the idea, similar to a golf ball, that if you can stir up the flow, you can make it more turbulent with these dimples. And in this case, it makes it better heat transfer. We've cut a test piece here, which is copper coated with gold. Um, I passed this out in class once. It didn't come back for a <laughs> yeah, while. I understand. Um, but we were using this to increase the heat transfer from a chip so that we could perhaps uh, keep these devices running at higher and higher powers. Mm -hmm. uh, it's essentially exponentially rising, the amount of transistors and the power that comes in today's electronics. And you said the idea came from maybe a, a golf ball. Mm -hmm. Nature provides ideas for many of your applications. Exactly. One yeah. of the things that I study is what's called biomimetics. It's mimicking biology. There are things that come out of nature that are, uh, that have been developed through evolution over thousands, millions of years. We as humans have been designing and building things for a much smaller period of time. And some things that are in nature are uh, more efficient. There's a reason why certain things survive better. Mm -hmm. uh, this is an example of a wing that we built, which is taken from uh, CT scans of a manta ray there was a group in Pennsylvania that took an actual manta ray, they took x-rays through it, and then we fabricated a device and a student did simulations and experiments to test how this performed in terms of lift and drag. It's something that we could use mm -hmm. to perhaps design uh, airplane wings or in particular undersea vehicles. That's where this would be the most natural. So whereas we've been designing for thousands of years, nature's been doing it for millions of years, mm -hmm. maybe we can take a cue from them, such as, and we don't have much time, but such as Velcro, you right. were mentioning, from, from burrs. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Velcro is something where uh, the inventor discovered burrs hanging off of his clothes and realized that there's these little tiny hooks if you zoom in on them. And that was the same concept that was used in developing that technology, which is everywhere today. All right, Stephen Solovitz, thank you very much for being here, professor in the engineering department, over 140 faculty members with their PhD here at Washington State University. So glad you're with us on Comcast Newsmakers, everyone. Make it a great day.